So Cauchy's integral formulae are these where this just means the nth derivative. So it can be any n can be zero, not the derivative, or first derivative, n equals one, second derivative, and so on, is given by this. And gamma um, is such that it's a simple closed curve, and f is analytic everywhere inside gamma, including at z0. So to show why this is true, um, we just start off with um, considering this. Now, f of z is analytic. So the only uh, pole we have is as a result of this um, 1 over, one over z minus z naught. So we know from the residue theorem that this has to be equal to 2 pi i times the residue of f over z minus z naught at z0. That's the only singularity um, of this function. And what is the residue of that? Well, uh, just multiply by z minus z naught and evaluate this at z equals z naught, and we get the answer 2 pi i times f of z naught. Um, so you can rearrange this to give f at z naught is equal to 1 over 2 pi i times this integral. Now to get uh, so this, this is the uh, n equals 0 result. To get the n equals 1 result, all we do is differentiate both sides with respect to z naught. So if we differentiate this with respect to z naught, then differentiate this with respect to z naught, we'll get f dashed or f1 at z naught differentiating this with respect to z naught, we end up with, well, differentiating, we get this, this is going to be squared. Um, there's a minus sign, and because it's differentiating uh, to the minus one, we get a minus sign. So the minus signs cancel, and we end up with this. If I differentiate again, then I'll end up with f dashed second derivative. This time I'll get a 2 appearing from this. Again, the minus signs cancel. And I've got a cubed. So you see we've, we've shown the first, first uh, three cases, um, you can prove the nth case in a simple way by induction.